Hello friends, welcome to programming knowledge. In this video, I will show you how to use describe command. In MySQL, whenever we create a table using insert query, we describe the structure of the table like what should be the name of the column, what should be the data type and what should be constraint. Now, at any point, if you want to see the structure of your table or schema that you have created, then we can use describe command. So let us see first open terminal. MySQL hyphen u root hyphen p okay we are in MySQL now right so databases to see which are the database that present in our computer okay so as you can see we have data test database here just use that now our database is changed we write show tables and we have two tables here one is student and second is stamp so now we want to see the structure of student table let us first fire select query select star from student as you can see first we have roll number then name and then surname in which roll number is our primary key so write describe and then table name press enter as you can see this is the structure of student table or schema let us understand them one by one the first column is stand for the name of the field that are present in the table the first column is roll number as you can see here the second one is name and the third one is surname so these are the fields that are present in student table the second column stands for the data type that we have specified while creating the student table as you can see roll number has type of integer and the maximum value or the maximum length that we can insert is 11 and name and surname both have data type where care where stands for variable and care stands for character that means where care variable character and maximum length is 45 if you want to see the data type or list of data type that present in mysql you can go to the documentation in mysql website where you can find all the data types that are available in mysql there are lots of data type like integer character small int big int long double float also characters text and the third column is represent null constraint and this means that whether you can uh, um, uh, you can left a fill or a column null or not because the roll number is our primary key it cannot be not null because we have to specify the primary key otherwise there is no value that can uniquely identify the entire row in your table and name and surname possibly can be null and the fourth column specify which of the field we have declared as primary key in this particular table roll number is our primary key as you can see and the default column is stands for if you haven't specified any values for the column that you have declared in student table then by default which value it should get we we 
had not specified any default value while creating this student table that's why there are null here if you want to specify the default value then you can specify we will see about this in our later visit in much deeper so this is how you can use describe table to see the structure of your table or schema that you have created now just close this terminal and open mysql workbench so describe and then table name just fire it as you can see the first name is stands for fields that you have in your table the second is data type the third one is for null constraint and then the key constraint that you have primary key that roll number is our primary key that's why it's shown pri in roll number and the default value now let me just write another table temp as you can see we have only one field in temp table that is id the data type is integer and the null constraint is no because id is our primary key as you can see here default one is null so this is how you can use describe and then table name so thank you